Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here. So yesterday uh, I uploaded uh, the solution for this problem where uh, some calculation mistake has happened. So today along with this some modification and a pathfinder problem on similar concept I am going to discuss in this. So it's a very nice problem. The data was set uh, very nicely. It was posted in uh, community post as well as in telegram groups. So uh, yes, so we have to find out the time after which person A and B can see each other using the plane mirror. So A is moving towards the left, B is moving towards the mirror and mirror ha is having length of 2L and this length is 2L and here this length is 2L. Mirror is also moving with velocity of V0I minus V0 J cap. So we'll discuss the solution of this and uh, the current courses on the INSP website are 9th uh, 10th foundation course uh, 3 and 4 years. Currently we are doing basic maths, geometry and coordinate systems in this and uh, for 11th class J mains advanced and INPHO foundation it is 2 years uh, course mainly for J 2026 and we are doing vectors in this. Similarly for 12th and droppers uh, this is uh, J 2025 course one year and currently we are doing optics. This course has uh, uh, access to both 11th and 12th. So in one year you can uh, have uh, both 11th and 12th classes. You can visit these uh, courses at INSP website and guys trust me physics will never be the same again. The INSP ecosystem is uh, the best you will find in the entire country. So let's come back to this uh, problem now. So here uh, this plane mirror is given and let's observe with respect to ground and uh, the situation looks very complicated because uh, all mirror and the two persons are moving so dealing this will be a little uh, challenging so what i will do is i will observe all uh, this situation with respect to mirror itself you can observe with respect to observer one or observer two or uh, mirror itself i'll tell you why i have chosen uh, mirror basically the data i set it was based on mirror uh, movement only so when you observe with respect to mirror uh, you'll figure out that this observer is having 2v0 in this direction and uh, v0 in this direction. This distance is 2L and this distance is L. So its resultant velocity is along the line joining here. It will be moving towards the end all the time with respect to mirror. Now this will ensure that any light ray, extreme light rays, if we are checking this blue line, it will be always fixed in the reference frame of mirror and whereas from the other end as a location of a person will change so the other light rays will change uh, but it is of no use so this entire uh, region between red and uh, blue light is uh, blue light ray is the field of view of a so anything which comes in uh, this zone will be seen by uh, the person a so this b has to reach in this zone now similarly if you observe this this will become 2v0 person b with respect to mirror and this will become v0 in opposite direction i hope uh, that part is clear to you so any line which is coming here and one more thing you have to take care of uh, in this problem that this t1 is l by v0 beyond l by v0 person will be behind the mirror and no such images uh, can take place then definitely they cannot see each other using the mirror now uh, here if I say this angle is uh, theta so this angle will become theta and from the laws of reflection I can say even this angle is going to be theta. So if uh, this distance is L and by the way tan theta from here you can see it is 1 by 2. So if it is L this will become L by 2 and the remaining distance will become 4L minus L by 2 which is uh, 7L by 2. I wrote it as a 3L by 2 yesterday because of which I have uh, removed that video it was changing the entire solution uh, for this problem now if you look at uh, this part carefully this angle is 90 degree and this uh, 90 minus theta this angle is 90 minus theta and here this is 2 v naught and this is v naught so this angle again tan theta is 1 by 2 so you can see the person is moving in a direction perpendicular to blue line this blue line he is moving perpendicular to that you can see it is satisfying uh, these angles so carefully 
so nicely these values are adjusted this angle and this angle is equal so this angle is 90 degree here so uh, here I can see that this distance is 7 L by 2 cos theta so time from here to here will be 7 L by 2 cos theta uh, root uh, 5 v naught and that is the t2 when we substitute the value of cos theta in this uh, equation we are getting 7 l by 5 v naught many student reported this answer but remember this situation is not physically possible because by that time this person a will be behind the mirror this time is greater than uh, l by v naught since t2 is greater than t, uh, t1 a and b cannot see each other using the mirror so that is going to be the right solution for this problem similarly now uh, the next modification which i have done in this i'm asking the maximum value of x naught so that person a and b can see each other using the plane mirror the same concept same ray diagram everything is going to be same only thing is uh, here this distance is going to be x naught total is given this maximum value only we have to calculate so that we can see the image so from the previous problem i can say this is l by 2 this is l so the remaining distance here it is going to be x naught minus l by 2 and this distance is going to be x naught minus l by 2 cos theta divided by root 5 v naught if i do i can find out time from here to here now this time t2 should be less than the time in which this person is reaching from here to here means t2 should be less than uh, t1 where t1 is l by v naught and if uh, uh, t2 is less than t1 uh, the person a and b can see each other using the mirror so i will do the same thing here x minus l by 2 cos theta by root 5 v naught is less than l by v naught when i substitute the value of cos theta and simplify i am getting x should be less than uh, 3l or you can say maximum value of x is going to be 3l itself that is going to be the answer for this particular problem there is one more problem on similar concept it is from pathfinder and it is under the section of uh, build up your understanding or in short we call them byus and it is third problem it is given a large plane mirror with its bottom on uh, the floor is tilted at an angle of theta to the vertical a boy whose eyes are at a height of h above the floor so one person is standing here height is h so they are asking us at what maximum distance from the mirror should the boy be uh, placed basically this distance is asked so that he can see his full image in the mirror all right so idea here is when uh, this man is uh, standing in front of this its image is coming like this as we are moving away from this you can say the corresponding image also i'm making so we have to calculate this maximum value so that he can see his entire image on this so one idea is any light ray reflecting from this mirror must reach his eyes then only he can see his complete image the idea is any light ray starting from this if they are entering into the man's eye he will be able to see his complete image so let's take uh, and another idea you can see the top part this line is coming down as we are moving away this line is coming down so when we are talking about this h max these two conditions should uh, satisfy one is uh, this line this yellow line you can see they are shifting down so this line should be at the uh, bottom at the same time uh, the light rays coming from his legs foot must enter into this man's eye so uh, let's uh, see this uh, ray diagram again for maximum distance from the mirror so first thing i'm saying uh, this light ray must be at the bottom of this uh, mirror and uh, the light rays which are coming from this the light rays which are uh, coming from this must enter into this man's eye I hope this part is clear to you so here from the vertical this angle is uh, given as theta so I'll draw this line I'll draw this line and this is normal to the mirror all right and the light ray which is coming from here to here is uh, entering into man side from the foot so now this total angle is uh, 90 degree this total angle is uh, 
90 degree this is theta so i can easily say that this angle is going to be 2 theta here this angle is theta right theta 90 minus theta and this angle is also theta so diagram is slightly confusing but i hope you are getting the main idea for uh, this particular problem and now uh, very simple uh, logic you can apply here tan 2 theta is h by x max so tan theta is uh, tan 2 theta is h by x max and x max is h by tan 2 theta this is going to be the final answer for this uh, particular problem so all these questions are on uh, concept of uh, limiting rays i hope uh, you have got some insight on these problems uh, and uh, i'll say these are uh, pretty good ones and can certainly come in your uh, exam also so that's it in this video i'll keep coming with uh, more such videos where two three good problems i'll uh, take and i'll discuss with you guys and yes uh, soon uh, we will start the uh, <coughs> j advance uh, pyq's discussion completely chapter wise as most of you have voted for it so that's it in this video thank you everyone